one of the first major assumptions you have to make in any schedule is how much time is available to complete tasks. You need to account for all holidays, vacation time, and all other foreseeable non-working time to build a schedule with any degree of accuracy. Microsoft Project provides the calendar tool to allow a project manager fine-tune the calendar with a great deal of flexibility. We can control the working times on our project by first going to the project tab and then clicking on change working time. A dialog box pops up where you can see how working hours are currently allocated to your project. The project calendar defines the working time for your project, which days are working days, which hours are considered working time in a typical work day, and which days are non-working time such as holidays and so on. Three default project calendars already exist for you to select in the calendar field drop-down list. And they are as follows. 24-hour uh, continuous time for midnight to midnight, 24 hours a day. Night shift used for overnight work that begins at the end of one night and finishes the following morning. Standard. The standard work hour for 40 hours, 5 days, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., with an hour lunch break from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. You can see in this drop-down that the calendar standard is the default project calendar, as it says so in brackets. On the right side, you can see the work hours for a particular day that is selected in the visual calendar in the middle. Now, if I click the work weeks tab here, Default is selected, and you can click on the Details button to examine it. As mentioned earlier, for Monday to Friday on the standard calendar, the times show here in the grayed out text. If you want to create a custom calendar for your project, you can do it here. We will see a simple example of creating a new project calendar, and then assigning it to as our project calendar. First, click on the Create New Calendar button here. A small dialog box opens up. In this case, we will just create a copy of the standard calendar and give it a new name and click OK. So that creates a new calendar. But if you see here, it is not yet our project calendar. To configure that, I first click OK here and return to the main window. Again in the project tab, I will click the project information button and the dialog box opens. Here we can configure the default project. I just need to select my newly created calendar and click OK. The default calendar will now be changed. To test this, I can go back and click the Change Working Time button again. And we see our new calendar marked as the project calendar. There are a lot of ways in which you can configure the calendar options. You can mark holidays and other non-working days. When we get to the section on resources and scheduling, we will see that individual project resources can have their own calendars. For example, if you have a consultant who works for 20 hours a week, you can reflect that on your project. As a best practice, you should fill up as much information as you can about the calendar at the very beginning of the project. That is, before you start creating and assigning resources and doing actual scheduling work. This is to control complexity issues at a later stage. So, in this lesson, we saw that project comes in with multiple default calendars that you can use. Also, you, you need to set up work days and other holiday related information for a project as early as possible. We also saw that you can create your own customized calendars for your project and set them as default.